Hello and welcome to this week's weekly forecast for week commencing 25th of April 2022. Yes, we are a day late. I said we might be, my apologies, but we are here. We made it. So let's dive on in to the overview for the week and then we will go day by day. Uh, finally ending up with a manifestation and a positivity card at the end. So remember to stay tuned for that. So let's take a look at the energy for this week as a whole. I'm going to show you the cards. We have the Five of Summer. We have the Ace of Fire. And we have number 20, Truth. This is a really, really interesting blend of energies this week. It's it's a very strange and in some ways a little bit challenging energy this week where we're not sure if we're taking one step forward and two steps back, but we still want to move forwards with things, but we're starting to wonder if we really know what's actually going on. Um, and that's what I'm seeing very much this week. It's a tricky week it's not the easiest of energies there are potentials there you know we do need to keep going with our plans like I said in the reading from the 25th if you've seen that one if you haven't I'll just link that above um, we do need to keep going now is not the moment to quit um, yes we will get a lot clearer on where we're actually going as time moves on um, and there's a lot of worry there's some negativity around this week it's a bit of a more difficult week you may feel like you need to pull back from some people um, it may be a week where you kind of want to advance in your career but your love life's going backwards it's that kind of feeling um you know when we say um lucky in money not lucky in love you know or, or the other way around it, it's, it's almost like you can't have everything at once this week you might be able to get one thing but but not everything at once necessarily so unless you're lucky you know i won't rule it out never say never so um interesting looking week overall i do see that psychic ability is going to be heightened there's also the theme of justice which is coming through very strongly this week um and it's coming from the feminine energy as well this is not um the old type of justice from the era of pisces this is a much more natural justice coming in here which is very interesting so people being found out for who they really are not being able to pull the wool over people's eyes anymore i think we'll see this on a on a wider scale on the international scene as well so that's going to be very interesting to see what actually happens there particularly with elon musk making noises about you know taking over twitter or buying twitter and what's going on there that's very exciting very interesting to watch uh, see how that plays out so it's definitely a week of opportunity um but it may not feel too good there is still opportunity there but it may not feel good and like i said there's kind of this sticky heavier energy that we're starting to move into now so it feels like things aren't moving forwards as quickly as we wanted them to but they are still moving forward so we do still need to work with that so let's take a look at monday's cards we have the nine of spring we have the three of air and number eight emotional withdrawal now this is quite a difficult energy to start the week. There's a lot of difficult emotion coming up. So you may have felt like you wanted to cocoon yourself off, hide from other people, stay away from people. Um, it speaks to me of heartache, of real sadness coming up. And this is going to be a theme, I think, moving into uh, Pluto retrograde. We're going to see a lot of our darkest, deepest emotions really starting to well up there. And it's going to be a very interesting time. Um, Monday speaks very much of starting the week in the right way, starting in a very organized way. So it's helpful if you have systems in place also um, to keep going. And that was the message I, I said on, on my reading yesterday on Monday is to keep going with what you've planned to do. Keep going, even though you might feel like it's not going in the right direction, even if you're feeling a little bit low. Um, a lot of sadness around Monday, a lot of difficult feelings there, difficult emotions, but the message is despite the difficulties to keep going. It's okay to take time out, learn to rest, not to quit. Also learn to take time out when you need to heal emotionally and not to quit because that's incredibly important right now. A lot of people dealing with past traumas, with um, complex PTSD, for example, um, and that's extremely important. We do need to take time out. And, you know, those of us who are incarnated on Earth right now, um, especially the younger ones, you know, we are different to the people that came before us. We are a lot more emotional. We carry more emotions. We have a lot more to process. We've been through a lot. Um, you know, if you're on Earth right now, you're here because you're supposed to be, of course, because your soul chose this journey. Um, 
but it's not an easy one. This is a very challenging time to be incarnated at the moment. So let's just move on to Tuesday. So that's Tuesday, the 26th of April today. Um, we have card 16, life experience. We have card 12, awakening. And we have card 18, shadow. This is very, very difficult, deep, hard, kind of Plutonian energy coming up here. This is very deep, very Scorpionic. It's, wow, these are very, very challenging cards. This is, I mean, the energy for, for today, Tuesday, is big, big energy, um, really throwing light on some shadows there, really making us look at the darker aspects of ourselves, of the world, of other people, and really think about what we want things to look like in the future. Um, it feels like a day where you're not really in control of what's happening. Um, you are in control to a point, but it's not going to be a day for forging forwards or for making new plans. Tuesday has a really, really difficult energy to it. It feels almost a little bit out of control. I see some people getting out of control today. So it'll be interesting to see what goes on on the world scene right now. Um, some big, big events going on there, big stuff happening in people's lives. Um, may feel like your life's falling apart on Tuesday. It may feel like things are literally falling apart at the seams and you can't deal with it anymore. But at the same time, you can't do anything about it. So that's an incredibly difficult situation to be in. But the the good thing about that is it actually makes you look at the shadow. It makes you look at the difficult stuff because you can no longer avoid it. It's like somebody holding you and making you look at the stuff you didn't want to look at, but making you look at it anyway. So you have to deal with it now. And I think that's the message for Tuesday. You have to deal with it now. You can't ignore the dark stuff any longer, the difficult stuff any longer. It's time to clear out the cupboard. It's time to clear out the, the closet, whatever it is. Um, and look at the things that you haven't dealt with, that you haven't addressed. And that could be emotions, that could be unresolved romantic connections with, with somebody from your past, you know, where you feel there's unfinished business there. Um, it's going to remind you that there are all these things that you need to deal with. So it's a bit more of a day, I think, where we'll be in our head, in our emotions, there'll be a lot going on on Tuesday, rather than actually being able to take action, do anything about it. It's more of um, sort of a preparation phase, I think, Tuesday for the rest of the week. Um, definitely not an easy day, so try and go easy on yourself. So let's now take a look at Wednesday's cards. We have number 13, Release, which is nice after Tuesday's cards. We have the Knight of Water, and we have 15, Temptation. Again, some very tricky cards here. I mean, I'm feeling for Wednesday that you could have like an ex coming back into your life who is really inappropriate <laughs> or some real like difficult temptation coming forwards to do with romance in particular. Um, but I feel this is a really bad day for rebound relationships as well. If you've just got yourself out of a situation, you may find yourself getting yourself into another one that you shouldn't really be in. Um, and that's definitely a, a, a difficult thing to deal with. But Wednesday, again, there are shifts and changes going on. Things are actually moving, whereas Tuesday was pretty much at a standstill, just making you look at stuff. Wednesday's, Wednesday could be the day where it actually starts to move, actually starts to change. Um, romantic relationships are very much highlighted. So be very careful about your choices there, because like I said, you may be tempted to go in the wrong direction or um, to take some really bad advice that it's got a horrible rebound vibe to it. <laughs> oh, Wednesday. Um, but at the same time, there is the opportunity for forgiveness and for moving into a new phase in your romantic relationships. And I want to extend that as well to work um, anywhere where there is cooperation or you work with other people, any um, any social interactions, any relationships that you have, um, be they platonic or otherwise, there is a real opportunity to leave the past behind, to move into a much more cooperative phase of that relationship to actually improve matters rather a lot. So again, that, that's not to be overlooked. Uh, there is definitely some positive energy that we can capitalise on there, but we have to be careful not to let the ego run away from us so that we don't... Um, you know, fall into patterns of jealousy, negativity, or, you know, cutting our nose off to spite our face, because that's really not going to help. So let's move on to Thursday now. Let's take a look at the cards. Thursday, we have the King of Summer. We have the Four of Water. And we have number two, the Waiting Game. Okay. 
Interesting stuff. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is such a challenging week, honestly. I mean, the cards are coming out in such strange pairings here. It, it's quite bizarre to see. It's a very turbulent energy, I want to say. It, it's not as you'd expect it to be. It's not where it should be or not where it feels like it should be. Of course, it is where it should be because everything is as it should be at all times. You know, that is the nature of the universe. It, it's in perfect and divine order, supposedly. Um, so we're told. <laughs> Doesn't always feel like it, does it? Um yeah, definitely an interesting day. Um, it is about looking to the future because, again, there's this sticky energy all week. And I think on Thursday, we're really going to be feeling like, oh, no, I have failed. This thing isn't going to happen when it's actually a matter of divine timing. So hang on in there. It may just be that the thing hasn't happened yet or it can't happen yet. Or you may be diverted to a slightly different path because the universe has a better idea of how to get to your destination, um, to your metaphorical destination. So try not to worry because there is a real fear. Um, there are real fears coming up on, on Thursday and that's very sad. And I think as well for some people that's going to bring up issues with the relationship with your father as well. There's some... Um, yeah, there's definitely some some stuff from old relationships with men and, and with fathers coming up on Thursday, which is going to feel disempowering. I think um, for some people, it may take you back to childhood where you felt that like you weren't in control of your life. Um, I feel the themes of violence as well and anger coming up there. So there may be some stuff to deal with if, if you struggle with violence or anger. Um, or if somebody in your past did and, you know, you suffered at their hands and that's affected you or, or left you with trauma to deal with. So there's definitely stuff to, to deal with on Thursday. It's bringing up some, some deep, deep issues which are very, very important to look at. So I want to say if you're being held back or you feel things aren't moving as quickly, there's a very, very good reason for that. So it may be time to, again, look within. Like on Tuesday, we had the energy of actually forcing us to look at our stuff. Thursday, I think it's going to bring us a little more clarity as to what those issues are that we need to be dealing with, that we need to be looking at. So let's take a look at Friday now. It is Friday, yes. Friday, we have the Queen of Autumn, the Seven of Earth, and Zero New Beginnings. Now, I like this energy a lot more. This feels like a breath of fresh air after the first four days of the week. Um, this is a lot more positive and also speaks to me of um, the possibility of financial success, success in business as well. Um, but moving on to the next phase, perhaps in a job or a business or in some sort of partnership on a very practical level, not, not so much about romantic relationships here. Um, again, there is the reminder that things take time to grow. And I think we may actually get a little reminder about that, but perhaps also be able to see some of the green shoots coming up. So some of the changes that you want to make, I think you'll actually get a little preview of coming events on Friday, which will be quite nice, um, reassuring. It's also a very good day to get out into nature. Uh, spend time with trees in particular, if you can commune with their energy. They're very calming, very grounding. Um, as a human race, we need a lot of grounding right now because we are getting a lot of downloads, a lot of upgrades, um, which are changing us on every single level um, imaginable, every energetic level and the physical level, of course. So, um, yeah, it, it's an interesting day. I think it will be much more positive than the rest of the week. I think we will feel like we're actually getting somewhere. There is also an opportunity to start something new. I feel artistic projects, new artistic projects in particular, will be very successful started on Friday. So there is that energy there as well. But the reminder comes through that you are manifesting in conjunction with the universe. You know, the world is your oyster if you know how to work with those energies, if you employ those energies, if you use them. Um, and as time goes on, what we are going to see is that our manifesting ability increases and increases and increases as our vibration increases. And that's what we will start to see. So much more positive day, um, much more practical day as well. A good day for clearing clutter. I think I said um, in some recent readings that there's a lot of clutter to clear um, energetically. We need to do it, you know, to get that stuff physically out of our house because it helps to clear on the level of energy as well. So Friday would be a good day to, to get some stuff done around the house, you know, get those jobs done that you've been putting off. So let's move on to Saturday now. OK, we have number one, the magician. We have the three of fire. And we have number 17, hope. 
Now these are very exciting cards to see. That This makes me happy to see this trio come out. This is a very, very interesting combination indeed. Very interesting. So Saturday, wow. That's nice. And I think following on from Friday's energy, we're going to feel a lot more positive on Saturday, a lot more empowered, like we can do things again, like we can actually affect change in the world and we're not just, you know, helpless meat sacks whizzing around the sun on a rock. Um, I think as well, there's a reminder of our spiritual life, of our spirituality that will come in on Saturday for some people. Um, a reminder that the universe is an abundant place that there really is no lack even if we're told that there is there really really isn't we just have to see it and help it to come into existence to manifest it um, sometimes you have to meet the universe halfway um, but on the spiritual level I think um, this is a good day for spiritual practice a good day if you meditate or um, if you're training in your psychic development or mediumship it's a good day for that good day for magical working um, spell work uh, ritual very very positive day for all of those things I think could be very very interesting particularly if you're working money magic abundance magic or manifesting um, this is a really good day um, it's a nice day as well to just take another look at your long-term plans just to have another look um, at your goals, look at your uh, manifesting list, take a look at your vision board if you have one, maybe update it if it needs updating. But it's a really a day of thinking on the longer term as well. Um, yeah, it, it's a nice positive day. So um, enjoy that energy and think about what you want your life to look like on the longer term and, and really get to grips with manifesting that. And I think it's going to be quite quite a nice, joyful day. And if you can spend some time outside, that would be very nice as well. Solar plexus chakra is highlighted for Saturday. So if you can get out in the sunshine, um, that's wonderful. If you can't, then um, yellow crystals like citrine would be very, very helpful to help support that chakra. And that's going to make you feel a lot more positive and, and improve your, your self-worth. So moving on to Sunday, our last day of the week, we have the six of winter. We have the ten of fire. And we have number four, discontentment and boredom. A little bit more tricky here. A little bit more tricky. Okay. So Sunday. Okay. I get it. Okay. So the energy of Sunday is very much kind of like the petulant child who's had enough and doesn't want to finish their homework because they're tired and they want to go play Nintendo. Um, show my age now. But <laughs> yeah, I think on Sunday we may reach a point where we kind of just want to take a collective sigh and say, oh, it's been really hard this week, you know, and this lifetime and <laughs> particularly these past couple of years there's a real feeling of fatigue i think on sunday so if you can rest take some rest or if you can, can do something that will lift your energy in a positive way i think that will be very very helpful too um so again, spiritual practice, prayer, meditation, but the type of spiritual practice that helps to up uplift you, to help you feel good. So maybe doing some help, self healing on Sunday, maybe Reiki, if you do Reiki, spiritual healing, crystal healing, whatever it is, you know, whatever floats your boat there, whatever it is that you like to do. Um, see if you can do some of that or, or give yourself a, a session if, if that's something you can do for yourself. Um, if you're interested in learning Reiki, you can take my free Reiki course, which I will link to in the description below. So, yeah, there's a real feeling of needing to deal with the stress and anxiety that has built up this week on Sunday. Um, and we may literally refuse to do anything on Sunday. You may find that some people refuse to get out of bed, um, literally want to stay under the duvet all day, which is completely understandable. Um, or maybe we may be feeling a little bit down, um, like we don't believe that our plans are actually going to happen. We don't believe it's ever you know, going to come through for us. And I promise you that it is. Um, we will see the positive changes. We just have to keep working with this energy. We have to keep going. This isn't the time to stop. This is not the time to stop. This is not the time to give up. Absolutely not. We must keep going. Um, it is going to be okay. For some people, I think um, 
there will be some issues that, that popped up in the week perhaps to do with relationships so you may be thinking actually about moving house moving country uh, moving away from certain people because there's a real feeling of not feeling quite comfortable where you are for some people there so again pay attention to that but don't make any sudden moves I would say because the energy is just quite a difficult one so you may realize that actually it isn't the moment to move to Mexico you are okay where you are you just need to be a little bit organized and incorporate more rest time more play time into your daily life so let's move on to our motivational card for this week which comes from the fairy oracle as usual i only have one and it is manifestation Woohoo! this is nice and i think this is a very very timely reminder um and ties in very nicely with the message that I was given in yesterday's reading on the 25th of April. I'll link to that one below if you haven't already seen it, which is even if it doesn't feel like it right now, things are still manifesting for us. Things are still happening. We're still very much in control of our future. We are very much in control of our destiny. We are sovereign beings. That reminder is coming through very, very strongly. And that's especially important to remember when we don't feel like that's true, when we don't believe that's true, when we think other people are in charge, that they're all powerful and there's absolutely nothing we can do to stop their despotic plans or their control plans, whatever it is um, that they're planning to do to us that we don't like, don't agree with, don't want. It's very, very, very difficult sometimes to get out of that mindset and remember, no, despite appearances, we can change this. Despite how it looks, you can manifest a different future. In fact, you must manifest a different future because otherwise, if we focus on what the bad people are doing, we're going to manifest more of that bad stuff that we don't want. Now, of course, I mean bad subjectively. <laughs> on a soul level, nobody is bad. Um, but we do, of course, have, have people incarnated on earth right now who are doing things which are you know subjectively bad for most of us um there are still dark powers who are still wielding way too much power at the moment i do talk about them occasionally and they are slowly losing a grip on their power so i just want to reassure you of that i talk about this more in my podcast the spiritual support crew uh, but the dark powers are absolutely losing their grip because it's their time to go now bye bye off you go out <laughs> it's very much the time to go energetically we are kicking them out right now we need to continue to do that so that we can take back our earth our lives our universe and bring much more harmony love kindness compassion and actually have the lives and fulfillment that we want and that we know we should have and are entitled to so thank you very much for watching to the end of the video if you've got this far with me please do remember to like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because that really helps if there's anything you would like to share with us please do drop me a comment and i will see you all again soon